AG Squad, welcome back to an episode of Is It Worth It? So this episode with this cool amazing one right here in my hand and basically what it is, is an air pump. This one you guys can actually use it in a car or you can use it at home or anywhere you guys want to, that's up to you guys. As long as you guys have an outlet to plug it in to activate it, then you guys can definitely use it. So the one that we got right here is from this brand right here, but there's definitely a lot of other versions out there in the market today. Even this brand, they have a lot of other ones as well, such as these right here. But when we take a look at the side right here, you can see there's some specs about the product itself right here on how to use it for like power source, for cord option, air mattresses, and the list goes on. And some tips on top of the actual product itself to show you guys how to use it correctly. But first thing first, I'm actually opening the product to show you guys what the actual product looks like and what is included inside here first. All right, so when you guys first open up the product itself, you guys can see that this is basically what is included inside here. So here is the first cable that you can use to plug it to activate it. Here's the second one. This one is for the car option. And right here, we have the actual product itself. I'll show you guys that in a second. I want to show you guys what else is in here first. So they got the protection layer right here to hold up the product. They do provide you guys a user manual right here to teach you guys how to use the product itself. And they also do provide you guys another quick starter guide right here to show you guys how to use it. And at the very bottom, they provide you guys a bunch of accessories and tools right here that you can use for different scenarios. Where they just want to use it for ear mattresses, for a ball, a basketball, or you can also use it for like your tire, for your car and everything else, which is pretty awesome. But that is basically everything that's in the packaging itself. Now let me actually show you guys the actual product itself. So this is basically what the product looks like right here. If you can see, it looks pretty awesome. If we turn on this side, you can see that there's two outlets right here. So one of them is for the car and one of them is for your uh, US plug at home or whatever. And on top right here, they do have a LED light that you can use, which is super convenient if you guys use it at nighttime when it's dark at home in the office, especially if you guys are outdoor and driving, you guys need to uh, pump up some air into your tires or whatever. That's super convenient. If you guys take a look at right here in the top part here, that is the display screen and here are some buttons right here. So there's a plus and minus button, there's R button and a power button right here. I believe the R button, you guys actually use that to turn on the light, but we'll definitely test all that in a second. But if you guys ever forget what each button does, you guys can refer to the instruction menu right here that show you guys how to use it and what each button is for. And then for the product itself, it's attached to this pump right here that you can use onto the car. If you guys want to use any of the other accessories or tools that's included, such as these right here, you can just attach it onto that part right there. All right, so this is basically what the product looks like once you guys take that part off. So the next thing that I should mention about the product itself is the fact that it does have a tire pressure presetting. So you can set how much air you guys want to pump in here and actually will turn off by itself. And you do have four different reading units that's in change on here. So if you guys are wondering what are the four different units, you guys can refer to this folder right here. But that's basically everything that's on the product itself. Now let's actually test it out to show you guys how to use it and whether it actually works first. All right, so we got the product all plugged in right here. We're using the home option right here. So first thing I wanna do is test out the light option to see whether that actually works first. So the way how you guys do it is by pressing it down. All right, so it turns on. You guys press it again. It turns off. It's pretty decent. It's not like really strong light, but it's definitely really nice to have that option better than not having the option. But if you can see, this is basically what the display screen looks right there. So if you guys press on the R button right here, you can change the unit on here. If you can see. And you use the plus and minus to adjust the target uh, level right here. So if you guys set too low, then actually will stop by itself. So probably need to set a little bit higher. It just depends on what you guys are planning to use it for. So for this test, I'm gonna use this accessory right here to show you guys whether or not it works. So first thing I wanna do is just insert it into here first, all the way in. All right, so we got it in. So what you wanna do next is to plug this part inside right here, just like this, push it all the way. You guys probably wanna loosen up this part right here first before you do that, all right? So that should be good. Lock it back in. So for this test, I'm gonna use the PSI option and set it up to around like 75 and see what happens. All right, so I have it set up right there. So what I wanna do now is press the power button right here, but I'm gonna put it down before I press it so I can show you guys what it actually looks like right here once I press it. All right, so I'm gonna press the power button right now. Let's see what happens. So it stops by itself once you guys set to whatever PSI level or whatever units you guys want to use. So if the product itself, you guys set it at like 75 and you guys don't want to go all the way to 75, you guys can definitely press the power button and stop it right there. Obviously when it's done, you'd want to take this part out like this and it's all set. So you can see the product itself, it does work, but that is basically everything that's on the product itself. Now that we did create unboxing and testing the product itself, 
Now the answer question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So after we saw the test itself and see that it actually works really, really well. So it's definitely here the product itself is really, really loud. But if it wasn't loud, then it actually is not working too well. If you guys can see how fast it actually inflates my actual wobble cushion right here, it actually works really, really well. So if I were to use like a manual pump, that would definitely take me forever. This one definitely saved me a lot more time compared to that one, which is pretty awesome. So I would definitely have to say that these are worth it if you guys want one or need one of these. <laughs> But then obviously for those guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, they obviously don't buy one and save the money for something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys. So you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.